Hello, welcome to a new episode of uh, SketchUp.us. Uh, today I will show you how to build a nice gothic uh, round arch, which is something like this. You see it in uh, there are some examples here. So uh, basically, uh, how uh, how this could be done? Well, could be done in SketchUp. Uh, the easiest way is to build a circle. So you just click on circle and you'll uh, you'll do a circle. And uh, after that, uh, after you do your circle, uh, you can take the diameters with a line. So you make uh, two lines, perpendicular lines, and from there you'll uh, build small circles which are having the diameter half of the initial uh, diameter. After you do that, you can easily go outside and do the tracing with the push-pull. So in this particular case, if, uh, if you want to see the example, you just delete the surface which you don't need and you can take uh, this shape here. Could be used it as any shape uh, you take it from the middle, move it on the side, and with push-pull, this one here, you just follow the, the trace. I strongly recommend to look from underneath. It's easier to control it. And also, when you do your circle, you need to make sure your circle have uh, a lot of uh, internal parts, uh, in the sense that this particular one have like 60, uh, and you can see uh, 60 segments. So when you when you build your uh, circle, again, you need to make sure you have a certain number of uh, parts. So when we build the circle, here is an example. Uh, you see here on the right side here, you're gonna see the initial click is gonna ask you how many sides. So I use uh, usually 60 just to make sure I have at least 30 when I'm doing half of the diameter. So uh, after you trace the initial circle, you can come with, uh, you can make it a component and you can come with uh, different uh, sizes, as you can see it here. Make sure you put uh, the center of the component in the middle so when you have that done, uh, you can easily align your uh, circle. Uh, you can draw also inside if you like. You can draw a quick uh, help line. So you just draw a line here in, in the middle. And you can uh, push this one, uh, you know, if you, on any direction you want. You can have the reference. If you do this as a helping line, uh, you need to make sure which time when you make a union between uh, two elements, like I like to have this one, uh, move it from here, here in the, in the center of the other one. And I know they are uh, 25, 0.25 actually the diameter, so I can move it on the side and say 0.25. So they are exactly in the same uh, position as the other ones. And again, uh, if you want to use union, you have to delete those help lines. Otherwise, the union, uh, for example, this union uh, operation is not going to happen because you have that extra line. So uh, in this way, you have a nice uh, section and nice uh, component to be worked with. And if you want to cut in different uh, angles, usually at 45 degree, you can have a cut box, as I call it. Uh, you can make a half of circle, and that one can be used and rotated again with the center as a reference. And uh, you can cut your boxes having uh, those pointy shapes. So basically, this is an example, this circle was cut uh, to 45 degree and 45 degree and union between those half circles. And same thing after that, you can uh, use that inside of the big circle and make uh, some uh, uh, different uh, shapes on this particular one. If you like to multiply it, you just select it. And again, uh, with uh, 
command key on the Mac or alt on alt key on Mac or uh, command on Windows and you can rotate this you can click on Q we'll do the rotate and you can uh, have more uh, more copies as well uh, so you can have this for instance with a copy at uh, let's say 45 degree same so at 45 degree here it is this is our complex shape you can look it from the top and we have a nice uh, gothic uh, arch type of uh, element which looks very complex and could be used for uh, for different uh, models and probably I'll export some of those I will put them on the 3d warehouse so anyway here is how you build it basically uh, you have a shape decide about uh, your pattern you construct your uh, help lines and after that uh, you made some components start with uh, circles and with the shape on the circle and after that make them components and the components can be modified with a cut box you cut it as you need it you're gonna have some nice intersection pointy shapes like this and after that you made your final model as you like and uh, make a union or keep it as parts as uh, I kept them here so anyway I hope you like it this is how you usually you do those complex shapes and uh, they are easy to be printed in 3d uh, they are uh, integrated and also there are volumes they are uh, not open uh, meshes and things like that which uh, many times creates a lot of uh, issue when you want to do union uh, when you want actually to do the solid works uh, processes and uh, modification like subtract union intersect and so on all right thank you